What up? I'm eating some toast. Cinnamon raisin toast. From Trader Joe's. My roommate got it. And I'm reaping the benefits. Um. Oh. The butter didn't really melt, so I'm just eating clumps of butter along with it. I'm kind of dipping my toast in the butter. Um. How is everyone's Saturday? Going? I'm gonna close my door. Got this red rag. Um, so I was filming a cooking video. I'm going to make a cake, but I forgot to eat and it's almost four o'clock. And also, I, um, need a food processor for this dish and I forgot to, um, it's at my, it's at my friend's house next door, but they aren't home, so I can't keep making this dish because I'm at the food processing step, and I can't get the food processor, so I have to wait for one of the two people that lives there to come back so I can pick up my food processor. I should have planned this out better because I knew I was going to make this cake today. And so now, I'm waiting for them to text me when I get home. But, I don't know when that's going to be. I'm not really sure what to do now. I'm having a really fun day at home by myself, though. So that's cool. This is delicious. You see that? It's amazing. Um. What else can I say? I should have made oatmeal for breakfast. But I didn't. I've been eating oatmeal every day. I love it. Oatmeal is an amazing thing. Um. It was nice out today. I should go for a walk, but I feel like every time I go for a walk, um, I don't, I end up wanting to buy something. Like, I can't just go for a walk and not spend money, which is kind of fucked up. I feel like every time I go outside, I spend money. Sad. Um, but I was thinking about it, I was like, maybe I'll go for a walk and go to join Reed and get some face wash and whatever else, probably just face wash. Um, but I don't want to spend money. I only spent $2 today on my oranges for my orange cake and I'd like to leave it at that because yesterday I spent money, a lot of money. I went out to eat twice, which I never do. But that's the price of being social. Like, every time someone wants to hang out, they want to eat, which makes sense. But, like, it's so expensive to go out to eat, especially in New York, especially where people want to go because no one wants to come to my neighborhood. That's not true. But, um, I don't know. Anyway, I'm drinking iced coffee. And so yesterday, I hung out with one friend, and we went and got bagels, which is cheap. I got 
a bagel with cream cheese, and then I also got a, I wanted a decaf coffee, but they only had decaf espresso, so they made me a decaf Americano, and that was like $7.50, and so that's like decent for lunch or whatever, um, I would like to not spend money, I just don't like spending money on food, like I like spending money on groceries, and then like eating my groceries for like the entire week, which is why I don't go out, um, because then I get hungry and then I buy food while I'm out, but, so I spent seven fifty on lunch, and, excuse me, and I tipped like a dollar or two, and then, at night, my friend came into town and they wanted to go get vegan food, so I was like, okay, and vegan food is always expensive when you go out to eat it. So we went to this vegan place and I ordered a kale Caesar salad, like a vegan kale Caesar, and it was delicious. It was amazing, actually, And but I also got avocado on it because I wanted like another food in it just besides like a bowl of kale and croutons. So I got avocado instead of getting like vegan chicken. I'm not vegan. I'm not vegetarian. I'm not anything like that. So I feel like... Vegan restaurants are great for people that are vegan and they want to eat, like, their naughty foods. Um, like a vegan, we were at a vegan diner, so it was, like, all, like, naughty vegan food. It's great for those people, but for me, I'm like, I can just go buy a hamburger for, like, $5 and eat that. And it'll probably be better than, like, eating a bread sandwich or, like, whatever fake meat product that is clearly made out of, like, bread that you are, like, feeding me. So, like, not to knock vegan food, because if I were vegan, I would, like, want that. But because I'm not, it's not, like, a novelty to me, so I didn't want that. So I was like, okay, I want a vegetable. I want something that I probably won't make myself at home, which the fact that I don't know how to make myself a kale Caesar salad is kind of sad. But I don't often, like, make things like that at home. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get a vegan kale Caesar and then it was like I could add chicken to it, but then I was like, why would I add fake chicken? Like it just, it feels like it's just like filler. So I got an avocado instead, but of course a side of avocado is like $3. So I ended up paying $16 for my kale Caesar salad. And it was really good, but I never want to do that again. And now I want to learn how to make it myself. I feel like the it just tasted so convincing like I was like how do you make Caesar dressing without um I mean it was a big salad but it's a scam like restaurants scams especially trendy restaurants which is why I don't go out like I don't go out I spent so much money yesterday just to hang out with my friends and like I don't want to do that like just come to my house and watch tv with me or something and I'll like make you something that costs 16 dollars to for an entire week's worth of food so um I don't know where I was going with that but I guess what I'm trying to say is don't get scammed into buying food. If you want to hang out with your friends, eat before. But it was still delicious and I will I won't do it again. Um what else is going on in my life? I was thinking about making some beef stew tonight, so I would have to go back out to the grocery store and get some I think I need some beef and I need some potatoes and I already have carrots that I should use and I think just some tomato sauce which I might have and some sofrito but I think I have that in my freezer um but we'll see I'm just I'm kind of wait I was kind of waiting to finish this cake before I started making dinner, but I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to finish this cake until nightfall because I don't think my friends are going to be home until like 6 or 7. So I'm trying to figure out what else to do with my time. 
Um, I kind of want to go on Second Life. I've been, like, going on Second Life a lot recently, or, like, here and there. But it might be fun to, like, live stream myself in Second Life, now that I'm thinking. Um, I'm going to figure out how to do that. Maybe I'll start doing that. But I share an apartment with my friends, and then my friends and the person I'm dating live next door, which is really sick. It's, like, actually... Friends, like the TV show, except like not because I don't know anything about that show other than they live across the hall. We don't live across the hall, we literally live in the buildings next to each other. But, um, yeah, it's really nice. And I have three roommates here, and I think one of them is home, but my roommate that like shares a wall with me is not currently home. If she were home, I would not be, um, live streaming right now so yeah um second life is a game sort of it's like a online multiplayer um world where um oh where you can like go and like talk to people in real time but then there's like so it's not so much that you're like playing a game because there's no like game objective but you kind of just like have this avatar and like discover all these weird places and it's really cool and it's been around for a long time um it's also very horny like a lot of people use it for sex and like whatever but that's not what I use it for I just really like exploring on it um some advice I have an iPhone eight I want to say it is fine I like it I would just get an eight so yeah um I upgraded from an iPhone 6 and it's basically the same as an iPhone 6 except with more storage and like a couple other things um what else what else I am not in LA my shirt is misleading. It's the 8. 8 plus is bigger. Um, 8 was kind of like the cheapest option that made, it was like the most bang for my buck seemingly, and I don't need a phone that big, although I would like a phone that big. Kind of. Um, How do I get more people to chat? How do I get the chat to show up on the screen? That's what I want to know. Um. Does this work? That didn't work. My name isn't Amanda. Oh, that, that was a mistake, huh? I don't... This is wrong. This is cool, though, that I can do... I can, like, go on websites in front of you. I mean, I'm not going to log into my YouTube account in front of you, but... We're going to close that. Um... My name is not Molly. Um, t 
try to make this YouTube chat to pop out and capture it. Oh yeah, y'all are like helping me troubleshoot right now. Um, the bear is over here. I was trying to set the scene. Um, I was cleaning my room and I, I put up all this stuff. So, um, let's figure out how to get the chat. Pop out chat. Okay, sick. We got that. And we want to capture. The bear is in my room. Whoa, not what I want. <laughs> what have I done? How do I just capture like part of it? <laughs> okay, that's not what I want. <laughs> Hold up. I'm not on Twitch though. I'm on like, I'm on like this software. My password is leaked? How? How is my password leaked? I'm using OBS. How do I get the chat to show up on the screen so I can read it? Is that even possible? Am I like, I feel like people do this, right? Like, so I can look at the chat and I can just look at one window, but I guess it's not that big of a deal, right? Did my password leak? How would you have seen my password? Someone tell me. Okay, so it's not possible. Okay, let's see. Uh, window capture. Okay. Choose. This one. Oh my god, y'all! Okay. How do I... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, <laughs> I'm really having some technical difficulties difficulties right now. <laughs> this is actually so fun. I'm having a great time. I promise I'll get back to the actual whatever the content is that I'm doing uh, in a second. Oh my god. Oh. If only y'all could see what I was trying to do. Okay. One moment. You're on TV. Okay, so let's put this here. How clear is that for everyone? Can you see it? Or is it not clear? Okay, great. So I am going to make myself full screen for myself. Awesome. Here I am. Wait. 
put it on the other side and extend it vertically. No, I like it here. So I'm not eating right now. I've never filmed a mukbang video. I would like to, but I haven't. I ate all my toast. I feel like I should be recording this. I don't know how my computer hasn't just like crashed from All right, sick. I'll make a mukbang um, soon. What kind of foods would you like me to eat? I like everything in the world. And I, I will film a live mukbang in the next week. But I need a theme for the mukbang. Um, YouTubers that I watch, fruit, that would be kind of fun, just to eat a bunch of fruit and get a big stomach ache. I don't think there are Chuck E. Cheese here. I've never had Chuck E. Cheese. I'm not a Pauler, is that Jake Paul? I don't trust people with two first names. Does that make sense? Or like a last name that is a first name? I don't like it. Um, I like to watch, I used to really like watching beauty videos, but I haven't been watching them as much anymore because I don't wear makeup and I don't find them as comforting as I used to um so but if I do I mean if I do watch beauty videos I like Tati and I like um I like Leanne Says I like her vlog content a lot um she just has a nice life and I like to pretend that I live in it um I also like um I occasionally watch Graveyard Girl I really like um Joanna Cedia. I don't know if anyone has ever um, watched her, but she's really good. I also like um, who else? Um, I've been watching a little bit of Well, honestly, like, I think the apology video stuff, like, I watched the Laura Lee one, and I didn't watch all of it. I just kind of, like, saw some of the, like, the conversations around that, and, um, I don't know. I think the problem is that people want a lot out of YouTubers and... I mean, celebrities in, in general, I think there's a lot of, um, I think people are looking more and more for people that they can relate to, but the thing is that, like, no one is relatable because everything, you don't know this person, and, like, even though they, there's, they, someone might appear more authentic than someone else, like, it doesn't really mean anything, um, but I think we're always looking for people to feel close to or that we can feel a connection to and I think that we put a lot of our eggs in that basket and then when someone fails to uh, you know impress us or um, fails to live up to our standards we um, we really come for them and uh, obviously what Laura Lee did was like fucked and like I don't I personally like don't really care about um, her and I think that that's why 
I think the beauty community became really inaccessible for a lot of people because it became really branded and corporate when it turned, you know, when it originally was something where people were just kind of sharing like their special rituals with the world. Um, so I think people are turning on that, but I, it doesn't surprise me that brands are trying to capitalize off of YouTube and um, trying to insert themselves in it. Like everything's, you know, everyone wants sponsored, every, no one wants sponsored content and everyone wants people to be their authentic selves, but like these people are doing this for a living and um, money really complicates things and unfortunately like people aren't going to just do things forever because they love it like they're going to try and capitalize off of that and you can't really blame them um, but I don't know enough about YouTube because I'm old and I don't know what the teens like and I don't know like when I watch some of these YouTube videos like for that appeal to like younger people that have really fast editing, I actually feel like I'm watching a cartoon and it makes me dizzy. So, um, I don't know, it's, there's a lot. Um, but I go to YouTube, it's my safe zone only because I'm not, I don't personally know anyone on this website, so I'm not looking at it, like, and comparing myself to anyone or, like, thinking about my relationships to those people outside of YouTube. I feel very, like, distant and, like, I'm just, like, in this world that, um, I'm just, like, I'm just observing and that's what I like to be doing. Um, so for me, I'm, I'm playing and I'm also, um, kind of, like, looking at what's going on as an outsider. Um, I have a headache. <sighs> I don't know what y'all are talking about anymore. I don't know these names, but... It's fine. Um, what else can we do for fun right now? Do I want children? Mm, short answer is no. Um, I don't even drink soda. I don't drink anything except for water and I guess coffee and tea. Everyone tell me your darkest secret. Honestly, I'm really glad that no one has ever asked me to sell out because I wonder if I would have and now I am feel more, uh, I feel less morally corrupt, but I don't know if that's just because I haven't had the opportunity to be corrupted. people you're talking about? Who is Ice Poseidon? <laughs> I'm also very insecure.
Who do you guys like to watch on YouTube? Who's making the content that you love? How do people buy followers? The puppy in my bed. Is named. Toad. I like watching Trisha Paytas, but I don't all, like all of her videos. I mostly just like her eating videos. It's sleeping. Toad is sleeping. Toto is very tired from a long day of barking and chasing squirrels. Toad is using the Headspace app currently. Pretty soon the light is going to come over me and I'm going to turn into an orb. My favorite... If I could... I'm loving these questions. Um, if I could tell 19 year old me anything? I don't know, because I wouldn't want to change anything about like the way that my life progressed. Um, I think that I had to do everything that I did in order. So I feel like if I told 19-year-old me something, she wouldn't, she A, wouldn't listen, and B, maybe it would alter the course of her life and she wouldn't be where she is now. So, you know? I don't even remember what I, I mean, I think I would tell 19-year-old me to go to class because I really wish that I had done, I had worked harder in college and actually tried to, uh, like, stopped being such a brat and, like, actually made friends with people in my classes and actually paid attention in class and did the readings because now all I want to read is critical theory and I wish, and I hadn't, I, I still haven't read, like, the basic stuff that you read in college, so I'm feeling very behind and kind of like a dummy currently. So I'd probably tell myself to actually read my reading assignments. Um, but I fucked around a lot. Like, I was bad. Um, I was good in high school. I was very, very good. And then when I got to college, I kind of just, like, had too much freedom and, like, fucked around. And I wish that I had gotten serious and fucked around in high school instead, but it's fine. Everything turned out fine. Um,
I wish I could go back to high school sometimes, but, like, with my current brain, I feel like I would just have a lot of fun and, like, like not care what people thought about me and just, like, I don't know, just be silly. And I, so, because I was just so worried. I was so, like, stressed out all the time in high school, and I feel like I could have had more fun in school. The light has changed. The sun, is the sun going down? But I mean, that's not the point of high school, I guess. I feel like you're supposed to be like flailing a little bit and everyone's kind of a dingy. And also I would not want to interact with high schoolers with like, I wouldn't want to have like a 29 year old brain and have to interact with high schoolers because I wouldn't know how to do that and I would probably actually not be able to make friends. It's crazy how chat rooms, like, aren't really a thing anymore, except for in, like, live stream context, but then they're, like, about the thing that you're watching, and they're not, like, how often are there chat rooms that aren't about, like, a visual aspect, and that are just, like, a box that you type into? I should charge my phone. Is Omegle still a thing? I feel like that's not a thing anymore either, right? Okay. I think I should go. It's been a long time on here. So, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go. Um, thank you for watching. It has been 39 minutes and that's a long time. So I'm gonna talk to you guys later. I'll probably be on soon. Bye.